this section we are going to see the hip sort okay but by mean hip method we have seen there are two types mean hip and maxillary mean hip means your root node should be the smaller one than the child nodes so for that the uh, step which we have to perform is called as hip part okay so at the initial level what we have to do now these are the numbers that are present over here so we will assign the location to the numbers as it is they are present over here so that we can create first the normal tree according to these nodes so it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 This is my array, which contains all the events over here. Now, according to location, we will be creating the tree. So, at the root node four, which is your zero location, then the next is the first location, which contains the node that is three. Keep the location number also there so that we don't get confused because of that. At the second location, we are having the element that is seven. At the third location, we are having the number that is one. At the fourth location, we are having the number that is eight. And at fifth location, we are having the number that is 5 so this is our tree normal tree where we have directly assigned the values according to present over here now we have to apply the typify method before that the question that comes to our mind that my why we cannot add one to here or if i also here as a third node because if sort is also connected with the binary tree and in binary tree it is necessary to have two nodes whenever the child moves are there so accordingly for we have created the binary tree from the given data now for the hippie file methods we will be starting from this level because as i said in mean gate it is necessary that whatever parent node is there that should have the value that is less than the child node so as these are nothing but the leaf nodes or child nodes you are not having anything to compare so because ultimately what is needed that your root node should contain the most smallest element so we have to be from this level where we can compare the parent node with the child node so see over here we will consider this three One and eight. So three is greater than one, less than eight. What is needed in the parent node? The lesser value. So we will do the swapping, and this typify method contains the swapping where the element is greater than the child. So I will explain here only. So here we are doing swapping. One comes here. Becomes here. Now next seven and five. Now seven is greater than five. Again we have to do the swapping for this particular location. Here comes five. Here comes seven. Now move further for this particular level. Four, one and five. Four is less than five. But it is greater than one, so we have to do the swapping again. So four will be here and one will be here. Now again check from the lowest level. Four is less than eight, but it is greater than three. Because when you are going to take out the first element, it is necessary that your tree should be completely balanced according to mean hip. So we have to do. Swapping again, so three comes here and four comes here. Now.
This is step one. We have to do the multiple steps for that. Now one is the smallest node which is present at the root node. I will test that node in my sorted array. So one will be shifted over here. I will delete one from this tree. But now what we are going to keep over here? We can keep any element node. In the mean heap or in the max heap that is nothing but deep sort, whatever element is present at the last location. See 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, which is the last location? 5. So whatever element is present at the last location will be your root node for your second step. Okay. Now we will again do the same process, but the 7 will be deleted from here. Because 7 is already shifted. Again do the comparison. 3 is less than 4 and 8. Okay, fair
main hit method for sorting the particular sequence under the heap sort.